Hey everyone, and welcome back to Swift Guitar Lessons. Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you a few essential concepts of music theory. We're gonna talk about the musical alphabet, all the notes that exist, and tell you how exactly those notes relate to the guitar neck. From there, we're gonna learn about the major scale and learn how that is used to create chords and also chord progressions. Let's get started. Okay, a close look at the fretboard, and we're getting started understanding how chord progressions are built from the notes in the major scale. The first step to understanding pretty much anything related to music theory is learning your musical alphabet. So, all in all, there are 12 notes that exist. After that, you'll find an octave, a repeat of the note that you started from. So, if we pick our A string, we'll begin on the first note of the musical alphabet, A. Next in the musical alphabet, we have B flat, followed by B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, and then finally back to A. Okay, so each of the notes in that musical alphabet can become what we call a key. Really, this just means starting point, the starting point of a scale. Now, the most popular scale, the most common scale, is the major scale, also known as Ionian. The way we create this scale is we start from any note we wish in the musical alphabet, establishing our key. We'll just use A, for example, the open string. Then we travel up that string in a very set pattern of whole steps and half steps. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. That'll create a major scale and also reveal all the notes that go together in a key and also all of the chords that go together in that key. Okay, so traveling up our A string, revealing all the notes that go together in the key of A, we have A, up a whole step, that's the second fret, B, a whole step, C sharp, a half step, D, a whole step to E, a whole step to F sharp, a whole step to G sharp, and a half step to A. The A major scale. A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A. Whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. Okay, so now that you understand the musical alphabet and also how to boil those 12 notes down into seven notes that work very well together, the major scale, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half, we can start to talk about harmony or how chords are built. Basically, the best way to look at it is that each of the notes in a major scale, I showed you here in the key of A, are ingredients for chords. It's a lot like putting together a recipe for a meal. The open A string, our root, is kind of like bacon. The third note is like lettuce. And the fifth note, tomato. You put them all together, bacon, lettuce, tomato, or a BLT, an A major chord. So that's a funny way to explain it, but it usually gets the point across that each of the notes in the major scale are ingredients for chords. If I was to add in another note, like uh, let's try uh, this note here, a G sharp. I can find that note on the G string, first fret. Add that into my A major chord. And since that G sharp was the seventh note of the scale, well then that would make this chord A major seven. The bacon, lettuce, tomato, or the one, three, five, plus the seven, equals A major seven. Okay, so all chords are built from their respective major scales. The A major chord I just showed you is built from notes from the A major scale. 
The D major chord would be built from notes from the D major scale. That's basically it when it comes to building up chords. There's different combinations, uh, create different types of chords, each of them with their own emotional consequence for the listener. Okay, now we're getting into one of my favorite topics, chord notation, building chord progressions from the major scale. Now, a major scale reveals what notes go together in a particular key, but also tells you which chords go together. So, those seven notes in the key of A, A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, A, can also be played in chordal form, with every note inside all the chords also being found in that scale. So for example, that open A string can become an A major chord. And all of the rest of the notes in the scale can also become chords. For example, that B note can become a B minor. Now this chord has a B, a D, and an F sharp. Again, those are all notes that are found in the A major scale, which is why it's gonna go so well together. These two chord shapes will sound great together because all their notes are found in the scale. Now in the next scale degree, the third, or C sharp, can become a minor as well. C sharp minor. So, so far we have A, B, C sharp minor, or Do, Re, Mi, Fa. Uh, here we are on the four, or the four chord, okay? This is all where all this stuff comes from. This is D major, which you could just play as a regular D chord. We're gonna continue going up the neck. So, the root becomes an A major chord. The second note of the scale, B minor. The third note, we have a C sharp minor. A D major chord, which is the four chord. Then, the fifth scale degree, E, becomes a major as well. So very commonly, a 1-4-5 will be major. That's why all those blues songs have major chords in them. A, D, E, right? Very typical chord progression. Well, that's coming from that major scale. Okay, so one, two, three, four, five. We're back to minors now. The minor six chord, F sharp minor. There's many different ways of playing this chord. Okay, and then finally, just two more chords left in our scale. We're gonna need G sharp. Sometimes people play minor, but really the chord that would have notes in it that match the scale that it's being sourced from would be this chord. G sharp diminished. And because this is kind of a wacky chord, I'm going to break it down for you. A string 11th fret, D string 12th fret, the 10th fret of the G string, and the 12th fret of the B string. And then tight squeeze back to where we started from. A major here on the 12th fret. Okay, so there we have it. We took a, a musical alphabet. A, B flat, B, C, C sharp, D, E flat, E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp, A, boiled it down to seven notes that work together via our major scale, whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. That eighth note reveals the octave, which is why it's called octave. And finding out that A, B, C sharp, D, E, F sharp, G sharp, and A go together uh, also revealed which chords work together. A major, B minor, C sharp minor, D major, E major, F sharp minor, G sharp diminished, and back to A major. And you can start putting together different combinations of those chords to create pop songs of your own. 
All right, everyone, congrats on tackling a very useful music theory related concept. I'm very proud of your progress. Now, hopefully you're all starting to talk like real musicians now. To really drive these concepts home, I suggest taking a look at the songs you've already learned and asking yourself, how were they built? Maybe which scale were they built from? And which scale degrees did those chords uh, come from? In addition, you can start writing your own tunes. Putting together uh, some stock chord progressions is a great place to start, like a one. Six, four, five progression is a common place to start. You can even start just trying to come up with your own using that major scale chord progression as a template. Maybe the one to the three would sound nice. To the two, and maybe the five. Just about any combination of those chords will sound fantastic. Alright everyone, thanks so much for checking out this quick music theory breakdown. I hope you enjoyed it. I got plenty more videos coming up, so keep checking back. Please subscribe and please share. This is Rob at Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia saying happy picking.